Pregame.com. We're back at Pregame.tv. It's interleague action, Battle of New York, Yankees at the Mets. I'm joined by Brian Leonard. Brian, one of these times we're going to do one of the pre-videos. It just, you know. <laughs> they don't want to see that one. <laughs> your fa I wish we could add your face on camera. Oh, well. <laughs> let, 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 let's it's get the first this. time that's ever been said. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was quite an expression, sir. <laughs> Fear of God, it was in your face. But uh, going back here, the Yankees, they're on fire right now. Here's a team that... Uh, you what, a month ago, they were bottom, looking at, you know, just above the Boston uh, Red Sox, looking up at the rest of the division. All of a sudden, you know, there's, everything's in its rightful place. You know, the Yankees are where they're supposed to be, first place, winning. They've cashed 10 of their last 11, and we're taping on Wednesday. This is a Friday game, so they're going to have a couple games played before we hit this one. But they're doing everything right right now. They're getting good pitching. They're hitting the baseball. Um, you know, they're not missing, not having their ace, you know, come in and for the closer of the game. I mean, they put it together. Is this just a mini run, or do you think this is going to be sustainable with them? All it took was the best closer in the history of baseball to go down for them to play well, isn't it? <laughs> uh, some, some of it is uh, they're playing National League teams. Um, they are National League teams with winning records, but still they're National League teams. And, and no disrespect to the National League, but the Yankees are going to have your best DHs in baseball. The Yankees are Red Sox teams that can afford them, and then where the other teams got back back up infielders basically is your DH. Uh, so that's a huge advantage in the interleague games. But uh, yeah, they are playing great. Uh, we are taping this on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yesterday they actually had their ten game losing streak stopped, and uh, um, you know these two met. This, these two pitchers, Pettit and uh, Nice, met in uh, Met Stadium. Uh, just a week ago, the Yankees were a one eight or, or yeah, Yankee were, Stadium. Yeah. Yankee Stadium. Um, I'm going to be bold and say New York wins this game. It'll be my play of the year. <laughs> but they, they were they were I think they were a 182 favorite, and they win mm -hmm. that game five to four. And I was a matchup back at uh, the Mets Stadium. Yeah, Yankee Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 the, now, 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 and now that was completely confused who's to on, everybody. Who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, New York came with you. Okay. Um, but uh, it's a situation here when I take a look at my true runs formula. Uh, Pettis three and one on the season. Uh, nice is four and seven. But going into this game on Wednesday, we're talking about the Thursday game. They're playing Baltimore. The Mets have actually won since they got swept in those three games mm -hmm. uh, against uh, the Yankees. They've won five straight games over American League teams. So they're now they're starting to play a little bit better. Of course, it's not the Yankees, but they've shut out Baltimore two games in a row, and now they get to play. Um, play the Yankees here and, and what is very funny because the Mets are having a good year mm -hmm. for the Mets for the Mets mm -hmm. well they actually are having a good year and I bet them on so season it would be over. a great so year for the Mets if they could beat the Yankees <laughs> it would be a great year yeah. but they were playing very good ball then they get swept by the Yankees and then of course being New York mm -hmm. what has happened to our Mets what mm -hmm. is going on oh the free fall has started then all of a sudden they went five straight games so they're playing very good ball too it just so happens when they match up against the Yankees they lose Three games. One of the games was a blowout game. The other two, I believe, were one-run games. Mm -hmm. So they're still playing very good ball. So we're getting. I, we we projected this line at plus, you know, minus one thirty-five for the Yankees. You may get a little bit of value here on the Mets. I'm interested to see what you have to say. Well, I'm going to actually go with the Yankees here, and, and here's why. I got front runner. Yeah, I, I'm a front runner. I don't like. You know, I don't like chalk. I don't like the taste of chalk. But this is an instance where it's the first thing you don't like the taste of, from what I understand. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Uh, we'll let that go. But the uh, Yankees, first of all, they're facing the left-hander, Nice. They're 15-7 and seven versus lefties this year. Yankees, you mentioned about playing the National League teams. Well, they've been a great interleague club the last few years. They're doing well again this year. But against the National League East, which is who they've been matching up the most against, they're 10-1 and one against the National League East. That either, you know, the National League East, which, you know, there's some teams that are playing well. I mean, Atlanta, they've faced Atlanta in two series, and Atlanta is supposed to be a decent ball club. They took care of them rather easily, <clears throat> even though they lost last night. Washington, they went in. Washington's having a great season. They went in there on the road and took care of Washington. So they played it in a National League city where, you know, the DH didn't come into play. <laughs> so I just think the Yankees are playing great baseball right now. The Mets are facing a lefty. 
uh, Pettit. They're only 9 and 15 this year against lefties. So all the stats are stacking up against them. And the Yankees were projecting at 135. Now, if this comes out at 150, I'm not going to like it. It's not, there's not enough value there for me. But the final thing that I like, and you know that uh, I talk about it all the time, pitchers first time around the league, first time you face a team, you've got the advantage. The fact that Nice is going to be facing the Yankees for the second time in a two-week period, he pitched very, very, even though he didn't get a decision in that game, he didn't give up any runs against the Yankees that first outing, uh, or at least no earned runs. I just don't see him dominating the Yankees in back-to-back -back starts. Uh, that's where I see the problem. Uh, Pettit, I'm not a fan of Pettit on the road, but at night he's pitched very good this year. He's got an ERA of uh, low twos at night games. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Yankees. I think they got bigger bats. Um, I think Pettit, even if he has a semi-off night, is going to be better than what Nice is going to bring second time in, in two weeks against the Yankees. I'm going to go ahead and take the Yankees here. Well, I, I touched on the New York media earlier. Uh, this game means much more to the Mets. So the pressure, oh, yeah. the pressure is on the Mets here, especially after getting swept at home. So uh, I'm not going to lay uh, a sizable number as a road favorite. So I'll be sitting on the sidelines in this one. But uh, yeah, I, they definitely have the hitting advantage. Um, I believe they have a slight pitching advantage. So there's a reason why that line is where we expect it to be. All right. Well, there you have it. We're going to go with the New York Yankees Friday night in the Big Apple. We're going to go with the Yankees and Pettit over the Mets and Nice. That's my play for today. That's going to wrap it up for Brian and me here on pregame.tv. But stay tuned later in the week. Scott Spritzer and Vegas Runner will be in. They'll be taking care of the weekend action for you. So continue to watch it all unfold here on pregame.tv.